Hello again, Cancer Didici here, and a great start to the month, June 2019, with the Moon, Venus, along with that slow and uh, what I call disruptive influence of Uranus, in your 11th house of friendships. Now, this is nice because right on the first and second day of the month, we see this formidable conjunction of the Moon. It's a dark Moon, but nevertheless, it's forming really nice aspects to this conjunction of your past karmic point, Saturn and Pluto in the seventh house of relationships. What may have been, and I'm sure has been for many of you, a rather trying combination is definitely relieved by Venus in its what we call trine aspect. And that moves forward over a few days throughout the month of June. And more importantly here, we see the new moon taking place in your 12th house. It's the sun, the moon, and Mercury. So these are usually what we call low-key elements. I don't like seeing Mercury and the sun in the 12th house. The 12th house usually indicates expenses. And... Um, those expenses, because the sun is a what we call a governmental planet, and here we see it rules your finances. It can indicate taxation issues, fines, speeding tickets, anything that you have to hand over to the government. It may not be fines, it may just be renewal of licenses. Uh, it can have to do with um, certification, you know, business registration, that, that sort of thing. It can also relate to an overall excessive expenditure where it may not be needed. Here we see that there's an opposition aspect taking place with Jupiter, a long-standing 12-month transit, which has still a way to go, and also retrograde in this sector, this sixth house, relating to your debts. These are debts that need to be paid, and while these planets and the new moon transit this 12th house, you may look at a new way of structuring your finances, the way you spend, and also, hopefully, the way you save. That new moon enters into the sun sign of Cancer, along with Mercury, Mars, and this, as you can see, is rather full of tension. A couple of points there. Uh, Mars here is not altogether good in the sign of cancer. It can be injurious, especially when it moves into this harder aspect to Saturn, which at this point, around the 6th of June, is well within what we call the orb of influence. This is also important because for some time, and I mentioned the last month that I'd be touching on this, the movement of the North Node or your karmic point here and the south node here. This has to do with relationships. So this new moon, Mars, Mercury, north node, these oppositions taking place on the karmic axis indicate the necessity to break free of those tensions in your relationships, those things that are holding you back, those things that are stopping you speaking about what your ideal really is. Why do I mention the ideals? Because here we have beautiful counteractive trine aspects to Mars, all the while having these opposition tense aspects. So it's through this idealism, reaching within yourself and not selling yourself short on what it is that you want in your relationships. No doubt many born under cancer are having to endure the, what I call the force majeure. The Saturn-Pluto conjunction, these are all in retrograde, retrogression right now, as you see. So what may have been a done deal may now be, you know, in review. And so you're going to have to work through this over the next three months. This is not something that will be resolved Immediately, 
in the month of June, but it will certainly be triggered. And the more honest you can be with the people you're dealing with or confronting, the better for you over time. Venus moves to your 12th house. This is a low key area of your horoscope. For some of you, friends may go away or may not be of as much interest to you. The 12th house, as well as being an expenditure house, as we mentioned, is also a sector relating to loss associated with people. That may be triggered when the moon transits the position of Jupiter here in opposition to Venus. Friends can turn on you or you may be disappointed with someone. Alternatively, a friend may not be well. There may be some news from a friend that concerns you at this time. In any case, be careful that expenditure aspect between Venus and Jupiter is also well known. This can make you very wasteful. This is not just expenditure. Just This can be absolute disregard for your own needs in favour of others. Maybe to impress them, who knows. But just be a little bit careful around the middle part of the month. There again we see the trigger straight after this full moon which I forgot to mention, the opposition to Venus is also a full moon at this time. And this casts a great deal of light on your spending habits. It also has to do with your health. I mentioned the health of someone else, a friend perhaps. But this has to do with your own health. And excess associated not only with your finances, but with your lifestyle choices. The, you see these red lines getting stronger and stronger. It's great having the visual on this, isn't it? You can see exactly how these planets are triggered by the lunar transit and the tension you must be feeling here. Mars, probably a couple of days earlier from the, say, the 18th to this period here, can cause a lot of conflict, um, usually more of a passive aggression, but that's injurious to anything that it happens to be associated with. This is yourself and also... Uh, the main relationships in your life, business or personal. Eighth house around the 21st is more to do with intimacy. Um, and that also may have to do with some sort of spiritual breakthrough, especially moving here in the ninth house, making an association with Neptune at this time, the spiritual planet. This could be, in a sense, an escape route for you because you see the sextile aspect here, the trine aspect here, giving you a way out of all of this tension, journeys, newfound studies or interests of a higher intellectual calibre may be a way for you to deal with these long-standing transits. These aren't going to move too easily, so you do have to find a way out of that. Career matters throughout the 26th, 27th. And then some unexpected changes again in your personal or social life when Moon transits through that area associated with um, friendships here. Uranus transiting that 11th house. By the way, the movement of Mercury in your second house can give you some new ideas as to how to earn money uh, to maybe compensate for all of that uh, spendthrift nature that we've observed through this month. Come back next month, hope you will. In the meantime, check out astrology.com.au. We've got a lot more there for you on the month, the year, day by day. And of course, uh, I'm here to guide you if you need a more personal reading. Look forward to that. Just click on the bottom there. You can uh, leave me a note anytime. Bye for now.